everyone, it's Byron here from Black Ops Toys, and today we're looking at my first ever kit bash, or first ever real kit bash that I made. Um, majority of it is from the VCF Catch Me figure. Uh, I really liked the bodysuit and the holsters and how everything looked in the boots, so I used that kind of as my base and then customized from there. From top to bottom, this head is a, uh, I believe it's a VS Toys... Uh, head sculpt. It's just a mitten box head sculpt they did, and I personally really hate rooted hair, but this head sculpt is actually perfect because it has the, the braided ponytails in the back, so you don't really need to worry about it other than the bangs. You have the neck toque, which is also from that VCF figure, just to go over the face, give it a little mask. The bodysuit is, is from that Catch Me figure, as well as the knee pads, the boots, the pistol holsters and pouches. This pouch is not, but these pouches are from that figure. And then for the swords, this is actually a custom job that I had to do. These swords are from Triad Toys, and I had the two sheaths, but I didn't have a good way to actually get them to, to be like a double sheath on the holster. And I didn't, I don't really like the cross look because it looks too much like Deadpool. So I took the two sheaths and I actually super glued them to a small piece of black cardboard back here and then tied it with two belts to the black cardboard to this uh, shoulder strap. And I wasn't really like worried about how it would look from the back. The hair covers it, plus I'm not like dis displaying it in my detolf. It's facing forward and it's in the corner, so you can't really see the back anyways. Now I'll pull out these swords. They're just nice metal swords. So yeah, just a custom job for the dual holster. She has a little watch right here, which is probably just from Easy Simpler Damn Toys. These 1911s are from DID. She has one right here and then one on the other. Both of these go into the holsters and fit pretty decently. And then she has a bunch of throwing knives from different vendors. These throwing knives, I believe, are from the Sideshow G.I. Joes because they are plastic. These ones right there. And I just fit them into these little, uh, I believe they're supposed to be grenade pouches, but they fit just fine. And then I have these three, which are metal. These are from the art figure. Um, it's not Deadshot. It's Crossbones. And those are metal. And then this triple cell pouch, which I believe is also from a Sideshow G.I. Joe figure. And then I just gave her a little satchel back here, which I believe has some more of these knives in it. Um, and this is also from a Sideshow G.I. Joe Ninja. And then finally, I have these two little knives on the legs, just to give her a, an extra little something on the legs and make them look too bare, um, just to have two of them on the side. I believe these are uh, VTS knives. And then for the body, I used a Fison body. I'm not sure on the exact model. And there is a shirt under here because the bodysuit is very see-through and it looked really bad. So I ended up putting a, a thin shirt under here and I believe a little bit on the legs just to make it look flat black and not see the skin through it. And then I believe this hand is actually a different hand because it has this, this weird pose and I just used it to kind of put on the pouch to hold the knives, uh, but I don't believe the skin tone matches, so I actually need to find a new hand for that one. Um, and then the knee pads were also from the Catch Me figure. Same with this little black belt that holds all the drop legs. This wasn't really based off of anything, it was kind of just a, a cool figure that I made. Kind of just a kit batch of that Catch Me figure. And I was pretty pleased with how it turns out. It sits uh, right in the middle of my Detolf displays with all my kit batches. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest, and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell. That way you will never miss a video like this.